Hey, the Easter holidays are finished. Did you remember for the start of the vacation when you say you're going on a real kill off studying for the Easter holidays? How much you do? I hope you did a lot because that's time you can't get back. But you still have about three weeks for exams. I know some of you all are doing your Spanish orals today. Today, Monday, Tuesday, this week. Good luck in your Spanish orals. Today, my neighbor had a Thanksgiving and I went in on that roti and I think the roti gave me a little roti headache, but whatever, the match must go on. Alright, so the purpose of this video is to give you a little idea of how the marks are arranged for each question, specifically for each question, so that you can look back when you're revising and take off things and know where you're going in, game mark, your weak areas, what needs to improve, stuff like that. Firstly, you should know that there are 10 questions in the exam. Let's go. Number one, number theory and computation, consumer arithmetic, a total of nine marks. So number theory and computation is simple stuff like significant figures, square rooting, addition, squaring a number, decimal places, decimal points, simple stuff like that using your calculator. Consumer arithmetic will deal with anything with dollars, anything with money, consumer arithmetic. Simple interest, compound interest, wages, bills, exchange rates, Things like that. Um, number two. Number two is algebra. Every single, every single thing in the basic algebra. From linear simultaneous equations, substitution, simplification, factorization, binary operators, stuff like that. In number three, basic geometry and trigonometry. In trigonometry, you'd be tested on Pythagoras theorem and the trigonometric ratios there. So Suka to and stuff like that. Um, number four, relations, functions, and graphs. You f of x, g of x, composite, inverse, functions, and graphs, and maybe some quadratic graphs or linear graphs. Number five is statistics. This is where they will go all in on statistics. And number six is measurement. Number seven is investigation. And in the investigation, you know, you'll have to pick out patterns and stuff like that. Before I talk about the last few questions, you should notice that the first six questions each went for nine marks. And number seven was 10 marks. So the last three questions are going for 12 marks each. These are the hard topics, algebra, relations, functions, and graphs, geometry and trigonometry, and vectors and matrices. So in number eight, relations, functions, and graphs, you can expect stuff like completing the square, speed time graphs, linear inequalities, linear programming. Yeah, so basically the most advanced stuff in your syllabus would be in the last three questions, so most, most advanced stuff in relations, functions, and graphs will be there. In geometry and trigonometry, well, you know geometry, there will be circle geometry mostly. Or you can get some other geometry, some other tough stuff with area of a segment and them kind of thing. In trigonometry, you would expect to use sine rule, cosine rule, and some of the advanced formulas for finding the area of a triangle. In vectors and matrices, well, that's exactly that. Vectors and matrices. Full blown vectors and matrices. So those last few questions are up to 12 marks. And in total, the whole exam is out of 100 marks. So it's up to you now to just go and go get your marks. So what topics are you good in? What topics are you really good in? And what topics are you weak in? And what topics do you want to see on the channel? Let me know in the comments. You know the thing. You can email me. You can DM me. You can message me. Don't call me.